Hi, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor. And in this section, we're going to deal with problems that involve work, okay? So everybody's heard of the concept of work. You know, you work when you wash dishes. You work when you wash the car. You work when you mow grass. And that's the concept of work. And so these problems are all going to deal with people doing work at different rates, okay? And the question will generally say, Somebody can you know mow a grass in this amount of time, and person another person has can go off and uh, mow the grass in a different amount of time. If they work together, how long will it take them to mow the grass? For instance, that's one example. So you have people doing uh, work uh, at different rates, at different speeds. Okay, and uh, you need to know a little bit about work in order to be able to apply that. So so in order to do that, let me give you a little primer on work in general, so that when we do our problems, it won't be so foreign to you. Okay. So what we're talking about here is work, okay? And uh, you know, when you do work, you know, you always have to talk about how fast does that work get done. I mean, that's something we always think about. When you wash dishes, okay, maybe it takes you 30 minutes. Maybe somebody's a little bit faster than you. Maybe it'll take them 20 minutes. Maybe there's somebody that's just really slow. It takes them an hour. So the difference, the different, the, the amount of time it takes you to complete a task really tells you how fast you're doing that work. And, and another way of saying that, which you'll see in your textbooks, is it's telling you the rate at which the work is done. So sometimes you'll see words like rate, the rate of the work done. So anytime you're talking about work, you're always going to be talking about the rate at which the work is done. Okay, so you're given a job, okay, like mowing the lawn, okay, and I mow the lawn in six hours. So I'm doing it at a certain rate, at a certain pace, okay. So if you know how fast the work is being done, okay, and you multiply that, that's the big X uh, here, multiplication, times the time uh, that you're doing the work, the time that you're working, Okay, the rate at which the work is done times how long you actually do the work is going to give you the total work done. Okay, this is just a you know this is an, this is an equation in words here. There's 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 just this is just an idea we need to talk about a little bit here. If you know how fast you're doing the work, the pace at which the work is being done, and you multiply that by how long you actually do the work, then you will get uh, the answer that you will get when you multiply these two numbers together will be the, the amount of work actually done over that period of time. Okay, So an example here for this part of it, which is the rate at which work can be done, an example would be, okay, so an example of this one here and this type of thing here, the rate at which the work can be done would be that you can, can mow uh, one half of a lawn per hour. Okay, so so uh, the the uh, the rate that you do the work is always going to be uh, doing something per some unit of time. So in this case, it's one half of a lawn per hour. Or maybe if it's uh, you know if it's uh, painting a fence, it'll be painting one fence per day. Or if it's uh, you know putting shingles on a roof, you can do one third of a roof per. Uh, per hour or something like this. So you're always going to have, when you're talking about the rate of work done, nothing too fancy. It's just talking about how much work you can do in a given amount of time. That's what the rate is. Okay, So that would be an example here in real world terms. The time working would just be, you know, just, just like what we were talking about. It could be just like two hours, let's say. So let's say uh, I tell somebody I can mow half of a lawn per hour.